Welcome back to Acrylic Arts Academy, where we teach the world to paint. Today, we will focus on a vital landscape painting skill, painting clouds and a sky. In this video, you'll learn how to paint a pink-hued sunset with step-by-step -step directions. For this project, you'll need a circular sticker, a piece of tape cut into a small circle, or a small circular item to trace. You'll also need these colors. Bright yellow. Bright pink. Light purple. Peach. Raspberry purple. Light yellow. And these brushes. Half inch flat. Two inch flat brush with short bristles. Mop brush. Round or filbert, smaller sizing. And a detailer. You may need slow dry medium and low tack artist's tape. Use a circular sticker or piece of tape to create a sun. Paint a patch of bright yellow over the sticker and across the surrounding areas. Use a 1 half inch flat brush and side to side brush strokes. Before the paint dries, go over the center of this area once more with light yellow or a bit of white. Let's switch to a wide, flat brush and bright pink paint. Our paintbrush is a 2-inch flat brush with short bristles, making it ideal for quick color application. Apply this color around the yellow patch you just added. Cover most of the sky with this color, leaving 1-2 to two inch of the upper left corner unpainted for now. A wider flat brush helps this process go quicker and allows you more time to blend. If your paints are drying out too quickly during this process or any other time you paint, try using a slow dry medium. It's a simple additive that gets mixed in your paint and slows down the drying time, giving you more time to blend. To learn more about that, click the card in the upper corner of this video or look in the description below to learn about the merits of slow dry mediums. Once you add the pink paint, clean off your wide, flat brush. Remove as much moisture from the bristles as you can before scooping up some light purple paint. Apply this color to the outer unpainted parts of the sky. Using short side-to-side -side brush strokes will help you apply this color quickly. Add some peach to the mix and begin blending it in. Use side-to-side -side brush strokes to continue blending the sky colors at the seams. Use a smaller flat brush to add a bit of pure pink to the horizon line. Do your best not to paint over that line or apply low-tack artist tape to secure a crisp line. You can use a dry mop brush or a wide flat brush to blend these colors into a smooth render. Add a bit more yellow or light yellow near the sun to brighten it back up. Let this part dry or refine it as you like before moving on. When painting clouds, a round or filbert brush will be your best friend. To make fluffy clouds, paint using concentric circles. If you want to learn how to paint different types of clouds, check out our video on the subject. We'll link to it below. Choose a highlight and low light color for your skyscape. In this example, we used peach as a highlight color and raspberry purple as the low light color. Take as much time as you need to add clouds across the sky, pause this video if needed. Remember where your light source is coming from as you paint these clouds. The sun is sinking into the lower right part of the sky, reflecting some highlight color on the underside of these formations. It's up to you how and where you place your cloud formations across the sky, just keep working until you enjoy the look of it. You're doing a great job. It's okay to switch back and forth between colors to get adequate coverage and contrast of color. When you've completed the clouds, take the circle sticker off the canvas to reveal an empty circle. Gather a small brush of any size and very light yellow paint. 
carefully add this color to the circle until it's filled in. Once that's done, grab a detailer brush or the smallest brush to add a few little hits of bright color around the sun using short horizontal brush strokes, as seen here. That's it, you did it. Great job. Thanks so much for joining us today. We hope you enjoyed learning this new landscape skill with us. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more acrylic painting content like this. Check out the description below to see more about our free resources for artists, sign up for a free painting course, and get your creative journey started today.